Today I'm going to demonstrate how to take this appetizing plate of spaghetti and cook it up into something that looks a little more like this. Now it's a good idea to refer back to the original circuit diagram you did. Uh, if you're not having any problems with that circuit and you're not planning any major modifications, you should just try to duplicate it exactly. You can even reuse the original wires if they're not damaged and they're still long enough. Now if you're planning on modifying your tone pot to be no load or true bypass, it's a good idea to do that before you get started soldering. It's just easier that way. And I cover how to do that modification in another video. Also, for tone and treble bleed capacitors, it's okay if you don't know exactly which ones you're going to use. You can always uh, alligator clip them on to experiment and then solder them on later. And I cover how to uh, make those selections and wire them up in other videos. Now in this video, I'm not going to cover how to connect up every single wire because it would just take too long, but I will cover some basic techniques like how to strip shielded wire, tenure wires, how to solder to the backs of the pots, uh, how to lay out your wires so they don't look like a big mess through the F-holes of a semi hollow body guitar, and I will cover some of the connections. So let's go in for a closer look and get started. So first of all, I want to uh, make a more careful uh, template for the pots. Uh, I was pretty rough when I did it before, but this time the positions actually matter. So I used a crayon and traced the um, positions of the holes off the actual uh, guitar. And I'm just going to transfer them to a new piece of cardboard. Um, the reason it's more important now is because we want the length of the wires to be correct. So uh, here they all are. I'm just going to use a 3 8 inch drill bit here. I'm just going to write on what each, what each uh, thing should be. This is the switch, the jack, neck. Okay, so the next thing to do is to mount the um, hardware in the holes. Bridge. This is the one that I have marked as no load. So that's my tone pot. Now if you can't reuse the wire from your original circuit because it's damaged or uh, if it's too short now after stripping it, uh, or if it was just lousy wire to begin with, you'll want to replace it with some new wire. Um, preferably use shielded wire. This is uh, this black one has uh, got a braided shield and a stranded center wire. Now if you don't have access to any shielded wire, you can take a couple different colors of unshielded wire, twist them together like this, let one of them be your ground and one your signal, and by twisting them you should get uh, reasonable resistance to EMI noise. To strip shielded wire, take a pair of good strippers and strip off an amount of the uh, outer shield that matches the length of braided shield that you're going to need. Then tease back the shield just with your fingers to begin with. And this part's a little tricky. What I, what I do is just push it down, which as you can see loosens up all the braided shield down here at the bottom. I'm going to take a pair of sharp cutters and try to get in there and just snip it on one side. And then you should be able to pull all of the shield out on the other side and just twist it up. Later on, you're going to be applying solder to this, um, which will help hold the whole thing together. All right, to tin the ends of the shielded wires, uh, just twist them together real nice. And then be very careful when you're soldering not to touch the plastic shield of the inner wire. It doesn't take much heat here. And for the um, braided shield, just use a good amount of solder and he heat, the, uh, heat the shield and let the solder run over it. And that fuses it all together and make it easier to uh, solder the back of the pots. Mm -hmm. 